When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Hello, good morning, and welcome to a cozy reading vlog <laughs> I don't know if that's super cozy, but oh well <laughs> So originally I had a pretty ambitious TBR for this week, but due to being sick, busy, and just things coming up, it ain't happening. That being said, I do have a couple of books that I do really want to try and finish. First being Cast by Isabel Wilkerson. This is a nonfiction about racism in America. This is my second time reading it. I'm annotating it, absolutely loving it, love the points she makes, and I feel like everybody should read this, honestly. <laughs> Plus, completing this will allow me to mark off a reread for my TBR game because we are trying to rack up the points. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> Next up is Minor Notes Volume 1 by Penguin Classics, which is a anthology of poetry by Black authors from the late 1800s, early 1900s, which I'm really excited about. I actually really love poetry, even though I like never really read it. Like physically, I'm more into spoken word that I watch on YouTube because yeah. <laughs> But I wanted to find some authors that I really enjoy and annotate and have fun and all of that. Now technically this doesn't really give me much of a bonus for my TBR game so I don't actually have to finish this but it seems like it would be relatively quick. I'm already a good chunk through and obviously reading poetry is a lot faster than a lot of things so I figured might as well try because I've been enjoying it anyway. And lastly we have a fantasy! Fantasy! So this is Prince of Sorrows by Kellen Graves. And this is a fey romance sort of situation where we have a human character who is about to be deported out of the fey realm and he doesn't want to go. And so after an interesting event where he ends up learning the name of somebody important, he uses this opportunity to try and figure out a way that he can stay in the fey world while obviously learning more about said important fey person. It turns into a fun time. I will say though, I am a little bit more than halfway through. It took a while for me to sort of get into it because the author has a tendency to like over explain some things that I don't necessarily care about. And I do have some issues, but when I just like ignore the problems and just go for having a good time, it's a good time. <laughs> I'm excited to see how it wraps up. And those are the three books that we're going to try and read today and tomorrow. I did also end up finishing a couple of books during the week. So I finished A Curious Beginning by Deanna Rayborn. I started this in the last vlog, so I figured I'd let you guys know my thoughts. I ended up loving it. This is a high four stars for me. It's not my favorite in the world. I did have a couple of issues, but I do really like the Veronica character, even though I feel like at some moments it was overdone. I still loved it. Like part of me was like, oh, my feminist heart. I, I, I want that. Like I enjoy that. And then I do like the Stoker character. I don't feel like the mystery as, was as much of a focus as you would expect from a mystery book, but... I still really enjoyed it. There's a lot of character study. Obviously the mystery was important and I feel like perhaps moving forward we might get more of the mystery. I don't know. We will see. I do have the next book already and I'm hoping to read it in May. So <laughs> fun time, high four stars. And then the other book that I completed was Rest in the Root by Justina Ireland. I do also have a exclusive vlog that I did for the Patreon besties. So if you want to see more, consider being a besties. This is available to the all tiers. I had some struggles with this, ended up enjoying it in the end. I think it's a solid three stars right now with the potential of being a four stars if I reread it. But there were some interesting thoughts and things that I obviously shared with the, the besties. So shameless plug. <laughs> 
So that's it for the updates. Now I am going to do my daily tail. <laughs> I'm going to do my dare, my dairy. Oh my God. Why can I not speak? <laughs> now I am going to do my daily tarot pull. I'll do a little bit of journaling and then I also have to do some plant care. And then we're going to get into the cozy reading and I will give you an update later today when I'm further along. So I guess uh, let's get to it. to but I have come to a realization but first let me give you updates so I got a good chunk into Prince of the Sorrows I had a gasp moment when something happened that I just was not expecting which I feel a little bit silly about but which definitely had an effect on me this book makes me think of a self-indulgent fan fiction and I love it <laughs> I don't fully know why I feel that way. I'm not sure if it's the writing or if it's just like the things that are happening. I know there is some cheese factor in it, but I don't know. Like, am I being too harsh? Is it just me? Or is it the actual book? I don't know. But like I said, I am enjoying it. I do plan on reading a little bit more of this tonight. Regardless, I'm pretty sure I should be able to finish this tomorrow early in the day. I also made some more progress on Minor Notes Volume 1. I'm doing basically a read through and then for a couple of the poems I'm stopping and analyzing them but for a lot of them I will probably do that later. I just wanted to kind of read through see what everything is about and get like my initial thoughts on things and then really sit down and engage with certain poems after the fact because some of them like yes. <laughs> They make me feel some things and I love it. I did end up analyzing a couple of poems by Fenton Johnson because I seem to like a lot of his work, although after I felt that way, I got to some that I was like, mm, not my favorite. <laughs> And yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna read a little bit more tonight or not, but I'm pretty sure I should be able to finish this tomorrow, no problem. That being said, I have come to a problem. Cast by Isabel Wilkerson. I don't know why I thought I would be able to finish this. I've made 
like no progress and I have no intention of speeding through this. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. The first time I read this, I listened to the audiobook and I feel like I went through it pretty quickly. So I'm picking up on beautifully written quotes and observations and just heart-wrenching, heartbreaking historical facts and informations. And this is gonna be like a couple month progress sort of thing for me. I think to fulfill my reread prompt that I was trying to use that for, I'm thinking of picking up one of these much shorter books that I also want to annotate but can do a lot quicker. Chemamanda Ngozi Adichie's We Should All Be Feminist Essay, which I absolutely adore. If you don't want to read, this is available on YouTube via her TED Talk, which by the way is beautifully executed, so I recommend that anyway. But I have this and then also we have the fantasy novel. This is the second in the series and this is When the Tiger Came Down the Mountain by Ning. Vo, I really like Ningvo's writing and of the two that I have, this one is my favorite and it's about a like traveling monk basically collecting stories in different locations and this one is about a tiger coming down the mountain. I mean it's not. <laughs> I remember absolutely loving this. So yeah, I'm torn between which one I want to do. I don't have a lot of time tomorrow since I'm actually going to be doing a family celebration thing, which I'm really excited about, but obviously is going to take up a good chunk of my time in the evening. So... Ah! As I mentioned, I'm still going to be reading tonight, so I plan on making some more progress, and I'll probably pick one of these to start so that I'm not starting from scratch tomorrow. I want to have some progress on everything. The main thing that I want to work on tonight, though, is Prince of the Sorrows, because I still do have a good chunk left, so... I just want to cut that back a little bit. I'm not too worried about the other two, whichever ones I do, because I feel like I can read them relatively quickly. So that's it for now. I guess I will come back to you tomorrow once I finish these bad boys up and give you my final thoughts. So good night. I've successfully completed all three of the books. I didn't finish cast, but you know what? It's okay because I ended up reading We Should All Be Feminist Instead and loved it. I knew I would. This is a reread. <laughs> I am able to get the point for that. It was enjoyable. I ended up highlighting all the things. So many good quotes in here. Highly recommend. Then I ended up finishing Minor Notes Volume 1. I am gonna say 
<laughs> One thing about poetry is it does become a little bit of a slog to read through the poems you're not interested in. And although I did find several poems that I really liked in a couple of authors that I want to look more into, Fenton Johnson, which I mentioned earlier, Georgia Douglas Johnson, I don't think they're related in any way, <laughs> and then Angelina Weld Grimke. Those were the three favorites of mine. There were some additional poems in here that I liked. I'm probably going to reread several of these and analyze them more in the future, but it was nice kind of getting an overview. I did wish that I tabbed all of the ones that I want to revisit. I didn't. I'm just gonna have to like reread them from scratch and take it from there. But regardless, it was a fun time. I want to read more poetry, so this is a good start. And then lastly, I ended up completing Prince of the Sorrows. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a hundred percent sure how I feel about this. This was a good time. I did enjoy myself. I do see some flaws, some issues. I feel like people who are into this will be into it. But like, who is that? I'm not a hundred percent sure. We get some crazy long, a little bit too much descriptions here and there throughout, but they are fun. It is nice. It seems like a guilty pleasure type of book. I enjoyed it. I think a good high three stars, low four stars. Like I had a good time. I don't know if I want to continue with this series that like part of me really does. I want to know what's going on, but I also kind of feel satisfied and I could just imagine what's going to happen next and like call it a day. I don't know. There is some intense scenes that happen throughout the book, which I feel like a little bit of a warning for a cute looking fey romance. I don't know. Maybe you know, because you know how awful fey can be that there's going to be some intense scenes. <laughs> And this other, she could be harsh. In some ways appreciated it, in some ways didn't. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> interested in hearing other people's thoughts on this. I do feel like this weekend was pretty successful. Hopefully you had a good time. If you stuck around this far, include a crown emoji for Princes of the Sorrows, you know? Like, do that for me, babe. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with me. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I will catch you in the next video. Until next time, bye!